on Meet the Depressed. Let me have my Meet the Depressed music. Yes, there it is. When we used to hear that music, we used to think something important was going to happen. Lawrence Spivak. I think he used that music. The late Tim Russert. Now it's spiraled into the swamp. David Gregory. And David Gregory is fixated with Barack Obama's religion. On Meet the Depressed, he is the Speaker of the House, John Boehner. I do want to give David Gregory credit for one thing. He didn't ask him about his tan. So there was self-control in that regard. But then he really grilled the Speaker about the birthers and Obama's religion. It went like this. Go. As the Speaker of the House, as a leader, do you not think it's your responsibility to stand up to that kind of ignorance? David, uh, it's not my job to tell the American people what to think. Uh, our job in Washington is to listen to the American people. Uh, having said that, uh, the state of Hawaii has said that uh, he was born there. That's good enough for me. Uh, the president says he's a Christian. I accept him at his word. But isn't that a, a, a little bit fast and loose? I mean, you are the leader in Congress, and you're not standing up to obvious facts and saying these are facts. If you don't believe that, it's nonsense. I just outlined the facts as I understand them. Uh, I believe that the president is a citizen. But that kind of ignorance oh, about whether he's a Muslim doesn't concern you? Listen, the, the American people have the right to think what they want to think. I can't. It's not my job to tell them. I'm telling you, Mr. Speaker, as a journalist for NBC News that has the likes of Chris Matthews, Rachel Mad Cow, used to have Keith Overbite, Lawrence O'Donnell, Mr. Ed the Red, and all the rest of the freak show that is MSLSD and NBC. I'm telling you, Mr. Speaker, it's your job to denounce the birthers and those who believe that Obama is a Muslim. That's your job. It's right there in the Constitution. Uh, Mr. Gregory, have you lost your mind? By the way, I only played half of this. This went on for a minute and a half. Where Mr. Gregory is demanding that Boehner tell these people to stop saying whatever it is they're saying. You're the speaker. How can you stand back and watch that? All right, kill the music. David Gregory, the country's going to hell. Is this the best you can do? By the way, David Gregory, have you ever asked Harry Reid for his full-form birth certificate? We have been searching high and low for Harry Reid's full-form birth certificate. Mr. Producer, any luck yet? No, no luck. No searchlight in searchlight, is there? No. But so this is why nobody watches Meet the Depressed or the other depressing Sunday shows. Now. I wonder, was uh, David Gregory as hard on any Democrat, or will he be, with Fahrenheit, what the hell was it called, 9-11, Fahrenheit 9-11, and all the fraud that's in there? No. Was Mr. Gregory as tough about Obama lying time and time again about Obamacare? No. Has Mr. Gregory said one damn word to anyone in the Obama administration who's defying a federal ruling, uh, avoiding Obamacare, and yet they continue to proceed with its implementation, does he give one second's concern to the unconstitutional activity of this administration on a matter that affects the American people in a huge way? No. What would Mr. Gregory do without the birthers? What would he do without them? He lost them. He had them. Excuse me, a whole minute and a half of precious airtime on NBC demanding that the Speaker of the House tell these people to shut up. Fascinating, isn't it? Did he demand that Nancy Stretch Pelosi tell the, uh, what is it, the, the, the ones that kept saying that uh, we blew up the trade towers? What do they call those people? I don't remember. Oh, the truthers. The truthers. Did he demand that Nancy Pelosi demand that the truthers shut up? No. There you have it. Meet the depressed uh, with David Gregory. Wasn't it Chris Matthews, Mr. Producer? I just got an email. Somebody reminded me. Wasn't it Chris Matthews? 
who demanded that the president just put out your long-form birth certificate. Remember that? In December. Give me that meat to the press music again, would you? Hi, I'm David Gregory. Uh, David, why don't you ask Chris Matthews to come on your program on uh, Meet the Depressed. And by the way, that guy really is depressed. That's why we call him Chris. I'll have another drink, Matthews. Why don't you bring him on your program? Because as I recall, David, Chris Matthews said, I don't understand. Why don't I find them Now let me slow it down. He said, Mr. Uh, President, why don't you just release your long form birth certificate? And get the issue over with. And so we have David Gregory on Meet the Depressed pressing the Speaker of the House essentially to tell Chris Matthews to shut up. Because Chris Matthews obviously is some kind of a birther. Maybe not a pure birther. Maybe he's a neo birther. That's what he is a neo birther. Well, Chris, where is that long form? My own case here on the Mark Levin Show, we have been on the Harry Reid birther case. I don't believe Harry Reid was born in this country, as a matter of fact. We've been in contact with Searchlight Nevada. We've asked every citizen, all four of them, where's Harry Reid's birth certificate? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you briefly about the neo-birther, David Gregory's colleague. Uh, Let me have my music. That's right, David Gregory, meet the depressed, his colleague, Chris, I'll have another drink, Matthews. Back in December, I believe it was, a neo-birther, Chris, I'll have another drink, Matthews, said this, go. How's Amber Crombie doing on his expedition to find the original document with signatures all over it, like all our birth certificates, like this one here, that somebody who was born at the same one day before has all kinds of signatures on it. It's an actual photo stat. Don't we want to know if he can find it? I don't understand why the governor doesn't just say, snap it up, who's ever over there in the Department of Records, send me a copy right now. And why doesn't the president just say, send me a copy right now? Why doesn't Gibbs and Axelrod say, let's just get this crappy story why not do it? You have that one, David Gregory? That right, that's right. That's your colleague. Chris, I'll have another drink, Matthews. You know what? Maybe we should call Mr. Producer Speaker John Boehner's office and ask him to publicly denounce Chris, I'll have another drink, Matthews, for being a neo-birther. Just release the full form, he says, to Abercrombie and Finch, the governor, uh, and uh, his pants. All right, kill it. Thank you. I can't take it. There you have it. The neo-birther, uh, Chris Matthews. How did they just release it? Um, that was just all so weird, was it not?